Hi. The topic for today, another topic for today, today is actually Wednesday, July 11th. Um, another topic for today is going to be actually testing theories and discourses related to environmental justice. Now, um, how do we actually do this? I'm just going to go over into um, my office dorm. And some of the things that I made a note of to talk about in this video, I'm trying to keep my videos down to at least one minute. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to express myself. And if it takes me a whole day to download them, then I'm just going to download it the way that it works right now. So I basically wanted to talk about testing theories and discourses. And some of the things I made a note to remember is to always say the topic of the video because um, what I find is when I download the videos, I'm like, okay, you know, uh, what was this topic? So um, testing theories and discourses. And um, yesterday I actually came across some of my uh, notes around shaping environmental policy. So if you're actually in to environmental policy work, how do you actually inform policies that help environmental justice neighborhoods? So I came across some stuff around uh, William Cronin, and I actually took um, an environmental policy class, and it was taught by a very misogynist white male, very cocky, very young, and, uh, you know, part of privilege in Canada. So uh, there was no black feminist um, integration of, there was no black feminist methodological integration into the teaching of that discourse. So what exactly are you teaching students? You're teaching them to go fuck up the environment and then you know what, create problems that may even kill the students doing things that they don't even know better. They don't even know any better to do. Or maybe they know better and they're not using their faculties because they're very arrogant. So I sat in this class and I listened to what this guy was saying. And um, I went to high school, finished high school. I absolutely hated the experience because I was just teaching, I was just learning how to hate myself. So um, what I did was I worked after high school because I had to survive and I was in a very abusive environment. So long story short, I worked and then I returned back to university in my uh, early 30s. And um, I spent some time in university. Uh, so I've, I have quite a few years of university. And so... Um, I take my education seriously and I take my career seriously. And quite frankly, if people want to fuck up, you know, your career, what you do is you just say, okay, minimum, I'm going to start with 100% of my net worth. What is my net worth? Well, let's go back to something called the universal of universal. Sorry. Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There's an article in here that says, no more slavery. So when you're testing theories and discourses, you always start from starting positionality. Starting positionality, my methodology is uh, indigenous pedagogy and black feminist methodology, always in everything that I do. And um, I wanted to actually just talk about doing, um, when you're writing environmental policy, what you have to do is you actually have to explore the um, methods, you have to explore the ideology and the thinking that is shaping the policy. Because if you're actually writing policy and it doesn't apply to the black community, then why are you writing the policy to begin with? So this is just a, a short video about um, environmental policy um, and theorizing discourses related to policy. Make sure that you always, always check the thinking behind what is informing the policy. For example, why aren't black communities in Canada, especially in Ontario, starting from Toronto, why are they not protected by um, environmental policy? And I spoke with these, um, some uh, Caucasian environmental lawyers about this and, um, you know, one of them had said to me that, uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say environmental lawyers, but I had spoken with some Caucasians in the industry, because we're all involved in environmental stuff. And they're getting paid, other people are not getting paid. So there's a lot of racialization. And um, they said that basically the, um, the, it was actually in a policy class, sorry, environmental policy class. They said that uh, poor communities and black communities don't 
get any type of uh, protection of policy because they don't deserve it. And I said, well, if you talk about a community like that, then you know what? We're going to go after your policy and we're going to go through all of your stuff and subpoena all of your stuff. Because if it's actually leading to uh, dead black children or um, circumstances that compromise the life, then you know what? We're going to take it through the charter. And this is how you have to actually talk to some of these individuals. So when you actually go through environmental policy, always examine the thinking informing the policy.